Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse, going in for day two of the U.S. versus Joshua Schulte trial. It began yesterday with opening arguments after the jury was selected. Schulte, the main quote people seem to have taken from it was witch hunt, but he said a lot of things. He actually quoted Zelensky, name-checked Zelensky. Um, uh, George Orwell uh, said he worked on trying to find Osama bin Laden, that he's a patriot. Um, now on the stand, so far only on direct, is an FBI agent that led the investigation into him. Apparently 100 agents, 1.4 petabytes of, de of data. Uh, he was arrested after an interview in Pershing Square restaurant, rest right by the United Nations, which I'll get to in a moment. In any event, Joshua Schulte should get on the cross-examination representing himself today, and we'll be there. We'll be live tweeting it. You can check it out at Inner City Press on Twitter. Uh, also today here in SDNY, um, Ghislaine Maxwell, noted global predator, convicted in a trial that we covered with great in great detail, also put out a short uh, tome about it known as Maximum Maxwell. Uh, today her sentencing, uh, after these many months, her sentencing memo is due, and we'll find out just how low she wants it to go. Um, uh, and we'll, 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 we'll put it up. I'm sure others will as well, but we're going to analyze the crap out of it. Uh, so you'll see that. An actual sentencing taking place today is of a man named Hooper in a uh, carbon credits fraud scheme. Uh, he pled guilty, so, di uh, so did his co-defendants. Uh, he wants time served. He says he cooperated. We'll see if that happens. What I can tell you is that in terms of fraud, uh, those who never get prosecuted are the United Nations. The United Nations are deeply involved in carbon credits fraud, uh, outright theft, a thing called UNOPS, the UN Project, Office for Project Services. You can check it out. They just handed money to friends. It was all set up by a UN correspondent who doesn't write any stories. Inner City Press, meanwhile, which covers the UN daily, as well as this court coverage, can't get into the building because they don't want investigative coverage. They may not want it in a lot of places, but there's a First Amendment. The UN has no First Amendment. It also is entirely immune from suit. The only reason you don't see Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General, in handcuffs is his use of diplomatic immunity. It should be stripped. Hold the UN accountable. Okay, we're going in. Inner City Press, to be continued.